Critical today is the legacy of BC Comp Plant. She'll explain a little bit about her history of working for Consumers Energy. So please give a big round of applause for Rising Star. walking into BC Cap Plant on August 9, 2004. It was my first official day working for Consumers Energy. The hard pull to open the door, the humid air as it hit my face, the mustard yellow tiles on the walls, three sets of stairs up, then to the lobby where I came face to face with the picture of Bernard Capen Cow. At that time, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. During my eight years at BC Cab, she bequeathed to me safety and education, leadership and teamwork, and family bonding in a workplace. My first week focused on the importance of safety and wearing personal protective equipment. PPE. I was given this hard hat, safety glasses, earplugs, and gloves, which still pull dust on them. I was also taught <coughs> the expectation to wear them whenever I went into the plant. I learned laboratory safety and chemical safety as I was a chemistry technician. Next came my education. Physics was the hardest subject for me in school. I had to learn how electricity was made using a boiler and coal. I thought it was magic when I flipped the switch. Turns out, it really was thermodynamics. <laughs> I also had to learn how to test the coal and testing the boiler water when we would do a startup. I had the opportunity to become a Michigan licensed medical first responder along with others in my plant. As a reward for completion, after 10 weeks of training, we received this jump bag full of supplies. <clears throat> I was then asked to lead the first responder team, which was a big honor for me. This involved scheduling monthly classes for not only the BC Cobb responders, also the Campbell plant and Ludington responders. I planned and scheduled a mock drill annually. I came up with a scenario, asked someone to be a victim slash volunteer, and this was to test our skills as a team. I was the first victim slash volunteer for drill. I joined the wellness team, which we planned family wellness days annually. We also planned other challenges throughout the year. One challenge was 2010 around consumers energy in 30 days. This was our reward for completion. In 2011, we hosted a health and safety fair. I was asked to MC the event. Huge honor for me. A couple weeks before the event, I broke my ankle. I still MC the event. You can imagine how funny it may have looked talking about the importance of health and safety while in a wheelchair. <laughs> it didn't take very long for me to realize what a unique and special place BC Cab was. Everyone who worked there knew it. It seemed we spent more time with each other than we did.